Today I'm here in East County, San Diego at Ranchito Milky Way, a small market farm where the owners, Christian and Alyssa, lived in a tent for a year to get it off the ground. It is one of the coolest little market farms you're gonna see, so let's go find them. I think I see them right over here. What's going on, guys? Hey! hey what's going on, Kevin? How are you doing? Pretty, Pretty good, how you doing? Good to see you. Pleasure to have you out here, man. Thanks for having me. Do you mind if we start somewhere a little weird with this guy right here? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Let's Come talk on, about it. Yeah, so when we got started in 2021, we didn't really have a lot of money and we wanted to be able to put all of our energy into the business. And yeah. so we're like, heck it, we'll just pitch a tent and we'll live here. Yeah. So we moved into like a little tent at first and then slowly got a bigger tent. We had our bed in there, all our books, all our clothes. So, okay, so how'd you find the land in the first place then? Yeah, 2021 happens. We, uh, a friend of a friend's aunt basically buys this property yeah. and turns out that she had seen the little uh, farm documentary or something like that and got inspired, wanted farmers and we met that day and she asked us basically how much how much space do you want yeah. and uh, that was the best uh, best words we, we had ever heard. Started getting started, uh, what was it, May 2021 yeah. and uh, broke ground and yeah. So it hasn't been, been that long. No, it's been it's almost been two years. Almost two years, yeah. not even a full two. Not even a full two. It looks like you got like the standard sort of market farm 30 inch bed. So yeah, we we exactly definitely learned a lot from YouTube. We say that yeah. Christian has YouTube it. YouTube University. Got oh, a yeah. degree at YouTube University. Best degree in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Learn a lot, man. But what we do here is we try to densely interplant so that way our people, all of our members can have as much diversity in their diet as possible yeah. in a small space. So what we have here is uh, broccoli interplanted with bok choy and green onions. So as the broccoli grows up, the bok choy will be in its shade and the green onions will just like keep chugging along. We'll take the bok choy out and the broccoli will get even bigger. And one of our friends calls that lava lamp planting and we mm. like that idea of Yo, just Oh yeah, with the waxing planting. coming up yeah. and down. I like that, I like yeah. that. So, How many total beds do you guys have here? I believe we have a little more than 23. They're all different sizes. So yeah. these guys range from, I think, our 50 footers. We have 75 footers and then we have 30 footers. Mm -hmm. um, and then a couple little like flower uh, bed spaces Hopping as well. Hopping spots. Yeah, yeah little yeah. focal points. What's your climate? We're not too far away from each other, but I would imagine it gets like a little colder a out here, hotter. probably a little hotter out here, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So you gotta summertime, play around with it. Yeah, playing around with a little bit of everything. Summertime yeah. we get like, sometimes 100 plus degrees and then the cold we've uh when we were staying here we get like 35 sometimes so a little 30. frosty a little frosty yeah, yeah. In the morning. okay yeah. these are huge yeah this is a little uh look at this <laughs> we <laughs> planted this back in september yeah uh what? and it had not fruited hadn't given us any broccoli and it we were the week that we were like you know what we have to take this out we yeah. have a bit of a hard time taking things out mm -hmm. when we know we should but we're like you know this is finally it we have it's pushed like jock on, on my team he's, he's the same way he's, yeah. he'll have like some collard plant from 20 thousand years ago. Yeah. Like, Bro, look, it's nothing. It's like, not yeah, they're still green on it. <laughs> Save it, right? And yeah. then it started producing this broccoli that is like absolutely incredible. Like you no don't, way. it's just the flavor is nuts. And we've been harvesting the greens and making broccoli chips out of it. Yeah. Uh, and people love that too. So, yeah. and then just a little tidbit, we use the same trellising for the tomatoes that are on a lot of like YouTube channels, mm -hmm. but uh, we added drip tape along the top uh, that has holes oh. in it so we can't use it. So it's a way to like reuse it. And yeah. actually the toma hooks sit on it really nicely. No way. Uh, and so it, it saved us. too heavy on the drip? No, I mean, if it does, I guess it has a little banding. Yeah, it has and a then little, yeah. we'll have hopefully a little uh, counterweight over there. This reminds yeah. me of the Josh Satin trellis to make you jealous. Yeah. Is that what it is, that's, effectively? It, that's definitely something that has yeah. been a source of inspiration yeah. there, man. Yeah. And, uh, we had our buddy Chris, who saw us throwing some of this away, and mm -hmm. was like, hey, why are you throwing it away? You can use it as a trellis. Yeah. And a shout out to Chris. Uh, thank you. That saved us a lot of money too. Yeah. We were no doing kidding. like, um, I think the steel rope. The before. conduits, right? The, those conduits is one as well, but yeah. we were doing the uh, the steel rope, I think. And oh, okay. so you're just like, that's very expensive and can it can add up. So this definitely saves, we're throwing this away, right? So yeah. now we're not throwing it away. There you yeah. go. Works yeah. works totally well. Here. Let's talk about this bed. Yeah. You know, like I said, like a lot of people talk, okay, turn, flip, tilt, etc. I, I think we can see a little bit of it though today. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. If you yeah. give me one second, I'm gonna run and grab the box. Let's do it. For those of you, do you want to give a quick summary of what a broad fork is supposed to be used for? Yeah, so instead of tilling the ground, which breaks up the soil and uh, disturbs the fungal networks, this just adds air to the soil and gets in real deep, and especially like in the clay soil. Yeah, uh, which you guys have out here, right? Yeah, yeah. ridiculous same, clay soil. Same here. Super yeah. clay. Yeah. It's been uh, helpful just to like pick up the dirt, 
and allow some of our amendments to fall in mm -hmm. um, and allow us to break into this. We actually started this only broad forking. We didn't till at all. Oh, really? Um, which in was, the initial ground. In the initial. That's yeah. actually, uh, I don't know if you noticed, your arms are a little buff. I, I saw <laughs> the chest. <laughs> <size. laughs> that's they're all massive. broad fork yeah. right here, guys. Yeah. yeah so there was, uh, we did a couple of cardboard experiments and then that didn't work out too well. So we just broad forked, made the bed. Interesting. And yeah. so you tried to do a cardboard like compost on top, plants on top type yes. thing. Yeah. Uh, they need, the cardboard needs to get soaked uh, mm -hmm. for a little, a little while. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we found that it just kind of made the water run off if it wasn't. It feels soaked. like, yeah, it feels like the start too, especially with it. Like if I, I tried doing that in my, my yard too. How was it? And I was like, mm, you get a season and then you eventually hit the clay and it hasn't, it hasn't blended enough to make any real difference. Yeah. And so I did, initially I did do a till. So I did a one till never again method. But this would work equally yeah. as well. Just, no, we would definitely do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we would do it, in, yeah. in retrospect, we would have done that. We actually okay, did yeah. uh, in a couple spots experiment till to see what it would look like, yeah. and it actually seems like it's working a little better. So yeah. I definitely think if you're, especially yeah. if you're doing that clay soil, you sure. should work incorporate the you amendments. You just gotta break it in. Just yeah, you just in gotta bit. break it in. It helps yeah. with the seeding and all Plus, that. Plus, like yeah. the way I always thought about it is, I'm like, look, I get, I get no till. Like Charles Dowding's a big inspiration of mine. He went no dig, is what he calls it. But I'm like, okay, great, I get it, but there's not much soil life in this hard packed clay to preserve. So yeah. let's let's just go, you know? Right. Yeah. I only got one life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give a little yeah. kickstart, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So yeah, our process of flipping a bed usually is, uh, we try to have this, our stakes in here to measure out a 30 inch bed as much as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and we line it up, we get our compost, we have a local horse manure supplier, nice. our neighbor Jeff, nice. he's super awesome. Um, and we bring our broad fork. So mm -hmm. we lay it on top. Uh, like Alyssa said, the broad fork just kind of goes into the ground. Just about that, yeah. Just about that, just getting everything up. So you will kind of bring it all the way up. I'll bring it yeah. up, kind of depending on the area. Sometimes sure, it's sure. actually impossible to bring it because it's so yeah. wet, right? Yeah. And so this one yeah. kind of just fell right through in the structure. I think it's a little dry. It's gonna be like, what, 10, 10 minutes to get through a broad fork 10 on a minutes, bed? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, depending on uh, on on the user, she always, uh, she's always beating me, she's so fast. Slays. Yeah, slaying through it. <laughs> Yeah. That's why we don't have a gym membership, guys. Yeah. You don't need one if you're farming, man. All right. That much. <laughs> um, and then what we'll do after yeah. is, once the space is all nice and broad forked, we'll come through with something that is called a tilther, a new upgrade to our space. Um, if yeah. you do guy. not have a uh, access to a tilther, um, you can always use a garden weasel. Oops. The idea oh. behind this is these blades over here yeah. will uh, attach to the battery move really fast, churn, and break up the soil uh, clunks that you might have here, uh, allowing for better seeding uh, and just a, a, a more form yeah. bed, essentially. This is so cool, because I've seen, you know, like the quick cut greens harvester with the drill attachment. I don't know, in, in the flesh at least, that I've ever seen a tilther with a drill being the actual powering mechanism, which is pretty cool. And then you just clamp. Yeah. That's and it exactly. goes, it goes. Yeah. Can I give it a shot? Yeah, go, go ahead. It. So you're holding it like this and you're dragging it backwards so, yes, then? The goal no, is to be able to. You're pushing it. Yeah, you're pushing it. Oh, so but it will, it like it will pull then. you yeah. really. Yeah, it'll pull you a little bit. And yeah. so just, uh, yeah, just uh, mind your arms, elbows, and just kind of go with it. There you go. There you go. Yeah, so you're kind of. And you can wonk it a little bit if it gets stuck, hit a rock. Yeah, yeah. Chop that soil up a little bit. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. And so the first two, three inches is kind of what we're going for to break up the, the clunks, break up the soil, and yeah. uh, not disturb too much yeah. the lower life. I mean, look at and that. Yeah. It yeah. looks, if you see the difference between it's the a huge yeah, difference. I mean, if you hear that bumping, it's just <laughs> it clumping it out. Yeah. So right. now, I mean, if you came through with the cedar, you'd be able to plant your carrots. That's really nice. Uh, really easily. That's so after, after right. you tilt, do you come through with like a bed reshape, rake type thing, and then you just go with like a cedar or something? Exactly, yeah. The, the tilt are kind of shapes on as it goes yeah, if, you, if yeah. you just go back and forth, but then we'll just do a little touch up. white one, It sure. saved us, it's honestly saving us probably about a couple hours per bed at this point. Let's talk about the greenhouse. Yeah. Another spot that we uh, bootstrapped, uh, mm -hmm. literally we have a carport and we have some plastic from uh, bootstrap farmers. Uh, another quick way to kind of make a, greenhouse uh, yeah. uh, at low expense. This is actually the first thing that we built here, I think. Yeah. Uh, we've slowly introduced more and more stands of, as we've uh, needed to grow and scale mm -hmm. up. We've upgraded from, I was looking for these six packs right here, uh, which we started in. <laughs> so and you were just hand starting seed in the six packs at the start, or how are we doing? It? Actually, this, what we first started with was the hand, the hand block seed. Right Where's that guy? Oh, yeah. this guy. So yes. the old classic, the old yeah. one. Yes. Yeah. So we were doing this, and you know, kind of hurts like hurts your hand over time, and it uses yeah. a ton of soil. That's a big uh, block. It's right? a huge block. Yeah. So if you have like low germination for some reason, it's a it's like a big waste. Yeah. Um, so we 
went on and found this guy, which is the bigger soil blocker. Smaller holes, so you can put 105 in a tray. Compared to like, uh, let's say yeah. something like right here in this plastic six packs, they dry up, the sun hits it. They're just, they're great and they work, but they just, you need to be on them a little more. They root bind themselves. They root bind yeah. themselves. These guys, I mean, no root binding. They yeah. all kind of hug into each other. Look at that system, that them. root system. Like yeah. the, if you, if you, you know, pop that in, it's going to yeah. transplant so well. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. it's just not wrapping around itself. Which yeah, is great. totally. Yeah. And you got some filtration looks like back here. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. So we uh, definitely are about my soil life and yeah. trying to grow the fungal life. The FBI, we call them, right? Mm -hmm. And so just uh, this filter has definitely helped uh, a yeah. little bit. It takes out the chlorine and chloramine, which was what we were really worried about putting yeah. into the soil. Because we spent a lot of money on compost, putting it down. And we're like, OK, well, are we just going to kill everything that we put down? Immediately so wipe we... your bacterial <laughs> life out. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Makes sense. It's something I've thought about a lot for the home garden because I've got everything on drip. Mm -hmm. but it's coming out of city tap yeah and i'm not i mean the results have been good and i also right. don't have to rely on it for a living right yeah. um in the same way as a farmer would but still i'm like maybe i should throw one of these filters on you know? yeah Might i mean if you got sense. a couple a couple extra spare hundred bucks you know <laughs> there. yeah why not why not one of the first things Alyssa and i did when we uh were thinking about considering starting a company was yeah. look at at our local community gardens mm -hmm. and started a plot there uh it actually went so well that we decided to scale up and mm -hmm started growing for more family and friends. And yeah. so this is basically the space that we started with. It's about 20 by 20, a little bit bigger. Um, and yeah, we were able to grow a yeah. lot of food in this space. And so. it was originally called Uranus. So yeah. kind of following so our Ranchito Milky Way name. Welcome to Uranus. Yeah, what's the story behind that name? I thought it'd be cool to make a joke that we are growing on a different planet. Maybe uh. if there was going to be some interplanet growing, they would see our farm and think that we would be good at it or something. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I said, Christian, what planet should we name it? And he said, Uranus. Yeah, so it'd be we great. A little like, silly joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're planting in Uranus. We got, you got this a harvest. carrot out of Uranus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then it's part. Of, you know, you scale up. You can have uh, Pluto. You know, you can have Mars. There you go. You yeah, have yeah. these little micro yeah. plots, right? I like so. that. Like a little microclimate. You throw it on a planet, it's, right? Like exactly. Pluto is maybe a little colder, maybe a little more desolate. Right. That's yeah. exactly yeah. what it is. That's so good. it's part yeah. of the large. Yeah. And then we all live in the Milky Way galaxy. There right? you go. And so it's part of the larger collection of that as well. So you know what? Think about it this way. This could be a planet, or it could be a galaxy with little little planets on it. And then if you have another spot, it's another galaxy. Oh, there you go. We have the Andromeda you go, family. You could really start to get, you know, <laughs> you could take this to the mat. Like there you could go really, really wild with this. Yeah, sky's the limit, right? <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. the kitchen, yeah? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. As we lived here, we uh, obviously had to cook and eat. So uh -huh. we brought our a lot of our delicious veggies to the space to kind of get a little more prepped. But yeah. we still are here every day. We cook here every day, basically. Yeah. So we have our bathroom over here. So, you know, everybody has to do that part yeah. of the day. We also have our chest freezer that oh, originally yeah. we had retrofitted to be a fridge. And that's mm -hmm. where we kept all our veggies before we got our walk-in cooler. Is it, yeah. so the, this is inactive right now? Well, it has a, it's actually, we just made it a freezer now, but okay. you can yeah. still see how we retrofitted it. Got and like it. we okay. fit so many vegetables in there, but yeah. we had so many issues with like it freezing at the bottom because the regulator would move or something like that. Sure, so, just wasn't, wasn't consistent enough for yeah, you. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't consistent, but it was a great way to get started with like 150 bucks. Can we take what? a look at the freezer? This was DIY or? This was no. actually, we got a grant. It was really amazing. Oh, no Perfect way. timing. Um, Stick peek. Check a look yeah, at it. Yeah, yeah. All, not, the, all the veggies are out of the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Well, the, we'll see the farm stand. Sponsored by Modelo. <laughs> it's so nice. Yeah. It? Tool shed here. Tool shed. Post I mean, hole digger really right here. Yes. That probably got a lot of use in the oh, first year. Yes, the extra <laughs> guns, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this spot, I mean, we initially did not have it. We, uh, this little house right here that we have as a frame, uh, yeah. we found it on Facebook Marketplace. So just nice. uh, repurposing. Uh, uh, some of this wood has yeah. been repurposed and just, what, what uh, do you think it was all in to get started like cost cost wise yeah Ooh, that's she's the question. the numbers lady right here yeah i would say we probably invested 10k to like over the course of the first year mm -hmm. maybe um and then all proceeds like all of our income from the business went back into just the goes business. right back in yeah, uh yeah. so like yeah. from our own savings probably about 10k and then on top of that maybe maybe 15 or something well let's check out the uh yeah. the little yes, goodies over here yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so moving on over here where on it all side. comes to fruition yes sir. look at this so, so people come here yes yeah uh every sunday we have a farm stand which is this right here people come uh park outside and they walk over and they get to see their farmers yeah. and they get a <laughs> this has slowly developed over time. We, yeah. uh, uh, I was telling you earlier that eggplant and what's another one? Okra, you can only do so much with, right? Sure, yeah. And so this, uh, a little more autonomy over your food. And I mean, to be honest, we had a 
keep updated with people. Mm -hmm. People get to tell us what they did with their week. This has been a, a little bit of a social kind of space time. Mm -hmm. And that I think is uh, what grounds people, makes them want to stay a little bit longer too. So you are selling primarily here or do you have some other spots that you're selling at? Uh, we sell every third Saturday at uh, an Imperial Beach Farmer's Market okay. called uh, Suncoast Farmer's Market. Yeah. Uh, they've been really cool, supportive, uh, especially with uh, small farmers like ourselves that don't have a, you know, you got to get certifications, yeah, all these things, yeah, right? Yeah. You're and just letting so, you roll a little bit. Yeah, right? letting yeah. us roll a little bit. So they've been really supportive, but we mostly just do that for marketing. Uh, and we just try to, you know, network as much as possible and get people to, to word them out. What do we got here? Is, uh, we is got Calamansi. Calamansi, yeah. yes, sir. So one thing the that we- The fruit of the Philippines right here. There you go. Yeah. Calamansi juice, man. <laughs> a part of our operation is every week we go glean from trees in San Diego, because San Diego is like so prolific with trees. Oh my trees. God, it's crazy, yeah. Uh, and in our last job, and then Christian's previous job at the State Department of Food and Agriculture, it was like, so much fruit is going to waste. It's crazy. And we just, yeah. we just can't have that. So we actually, every week we, we pick like two to three fruits that are like amazing. Mm -hmm. And we make we these, have these uh, pretty cool bags that Alyssa oh, no way. Uh, has put together. Yeah. We've taken patterns. Uh, this is a local pattern from a local fabric shop. Yeah. Um, That's a smart idea. Like, like from sell, Cafe Sell Modos. your customer the bag that they're taking your produce home in, right? Exactly. We, yeah. We've been struggling because our produce ends up when you get all of it is like huge. Yeah. So yeah. what kind of bag works for that? You need a big old burlap need bag. A big yeah, old yeah. burlap bag. <laughs> <laughs> so ours are pretty cool. Yeah. And every single one's unique because it's all from like random stuff. Sure. So. Like coffee bags or whatever. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Well, dude, thanks guys for, for showing us the space. Yeah. Super cool. Thanks for coming out. Two years in, it's like really impressive. <laughs> the level <laughs> you guys have gotten to. Appreciate it. Really, really cool. Oh. You can check them out, Ranchito Milky Way. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Good luck in the garden and keep on growing. <laughs>